Good morning, and thank you for this opportunity. Take a minute to journey with me. What if today, Caucasian children were three times more likely to die than African American children? What if 1,000 babies born today in Cleveland, Caucasian babies, and out of that 1,000, we lost 150 before their first year of life? You know, if those babies were born in Syria or war-torn Jordan, they would live. But today, because Cleveland has the second highest rate in the country of infant death, they're not going to survive. What if? What if in one of our suburban communities, let's say Solon or University Heights, 485 children had elevated lev levels? What if? We know that when they ingest lead through paint and water, 50%, 50% is absorbed in their bodies. And lead likes the brain. At the least, when lead gets a hold of a child, you see behavioral disturbances. You see children that end up with learning differences. But at its worst, these children lose their hearing. They develop seizures. And in some instances, they die. So what if? I ask myself every day, is that health equity? Are we providing for these children the best opportunity for them to have the best possible health outcomes? Or are we just in a state of crisis? What if? What if today you woke up in this country and the 200,000 primary care physicians, your pediatricians, general internal medicine, family medicine, OBGYN and psychiatrists just went away? Not all of them, but just half of them. We lost 100,000 today. Where would you go for care? Where would these children go for care? What's going to happen to them, their parents? And what's going to happen to the elevated lead levels that we see in this city and to our high infant mortality rate? What if? So now let me take you back to something that we know. Let's go back to a reality. It really isn't Caucasian children who are dying prematurely. It's really our African-American children in Cleveland are underserved. 1,000 kids born, 150 are probably going to die if they're African-American. Only 50 if they're Caucasian. To me, a death of a child is a death of a child. However, if you're in some communities in Cleveland, we can lose 260 children per live birth. Never get to celebrate a first year of life. And it really isn't Solon that has the high lead levels. It's Cleveland, 2014, 485 of our children are walking around being exposed to lead. In Solon, that year it was zero. And yes, unfortunately, 2025, you are going to have less places to go get your care. Regardless of how hard we work, how many hours we put in, we are planning to have a shortage of primary care physicians to the tune of about 900 sorry, 90,000. 900,000 would be nice, because that means we'd be starting off with something that makes sense. So, what's happening? How are we dealing with this? Is this health equity, or is it a crisis? Well, there's some people in this city who really do believe it's a crisis. It is a crisis, because without health care, all the other beautiful things that we're going to try to do are going to be compromised. If you get healthy, if you're not healthy, it's not going to work. So the plan, our vision, two institutions come together in a partnership to develop a way to impact primary care. We developed a way to flood, Northeast Ohio and Cleveland State developed a way through a partnership to flood this community with primary care physicians. We recruit them from the community, we train them in the community, and we send them back to the community to practice medicine. That is our vision, that is our mission. My question to all of you today is what is yours? We can't do this by ourselves. Thank you.